publishing reports in Excel services. Now this is our next step in getting this spreadsheet on a web page. Uh, we've just created the spreadsheet in the previous videos. Now we need to simply publish that in a way that allows us to upload it to uh, SharePoint. And what we're going to do to do that is really quite simple. We simply take that file and we upload it first to a SharePoint document library and then we may change some of the settings on that file, some of the server settings, uh, so that the parameters are turned on. And once we've done that, we're just about ready to make use of the web part. So how do we do this? Well, there's a couple of ways to upload it. First of all, you can simply take that file and upload it into a SharePoint document library. That's probably the simplest way. So I'm going to switch over to my machine here. And um, all I really need to do is upload to a document library. So here's a little test site. I'll go into the document library called Shared Documents. And I will choose to upload that, that same file that, if you recall in the previous exercise, I just created. So I'll go out and browse for it. This is a simple Excel file. And this is the directory where I put it. Here it is, DLES underscore test1. And that's all there is to it. Now that file was created in Office 2007. You can also use uh, an Office 2003 copy of Excel as long as you've got the a patch that allows you to save in the Office 2007 format. So there's our uh, there's our upload. That's pretty straightforward. Now I'll show you a different way you can upload. You can actually publish directly from Excel. But let me uh, explain something about this uh, once we've put this here. Once we've put it here, we can now open it up in Excel. And when we open this up, uh, remotely as we're doing, you're going to notice that there are some server options that are available. That's how we're going to set up the parameters. Okay, so here's the file. It just opened up. And if you take a look in the this option up here, the Windows button, you'll notice something that normally doesn't appear when you're working locally. That is this server option. This is where you can choose this option, Excel Services Options. This is where you can specify uh, what parameters are going to be used. So for example, uh, let me, well, for, first of all, let me set which sheets are visible. I only want the first sheet to be visible. That's the only one that has anything of interest on it. And secondly, uh, in parameters option, this is where I'm going to be able to find the named ranges that were saved with the spreadsheet and then add these as parameters. So when I choose add, notice these you know, here are the parameters that I had started with, or the, the named ranges that I created. Okay. I'll go ahead and select those and choose OK. And you know, once I've done this, now when I save this and then upload this to, or use this within the web part, the Excel uh, services web part, then uh, that's going to uh, that's going to add a couple of fields that the user can edit by hand. So it was again choosing this server option and then Excel services options. So that's how we set those up. I'll go ahead and save this now. Now some of you may be saying, hey, why did, why did you do it the hard way? Why didn't you just do it the simple way? Let me show you a much simpler way if it's available to you, if you've got the uh, version of Excel that supports it. First of all, let me close this out. This is the server copy. Let me close this out. And if you look at, yeah, here's, here's my recent document list. This is the one that's on, actually on the server. If you look at the uh, balloon help there, this is the one that's local. That's just in a local file. Yeah, see, it's in C slash labs. If I bring that back up, notice there is no server option. That's the first thing to notice. But notice that because I'm using this particular version of Excel or of Office, I have a publish option. And within the publish option, you can publish directly to a SharePoint document library. So I'll go ahead and choose Excel services. Now I do need to know where you do need to know where that um, you know where that document library is. As you can see, it's just going straight locally at this point. But if I go into my recent, 
I believe, yeah, here we go. Here's shared documents on OSIsoft. This is actually that document library. I believe that's the document library. There we go. So see, I can just publish directly there. But before I publish to that, I can, it's kind of killing two birds with one stone here, uh, whereas I had to do this as a separate step here, I can do it as part of this step. I can set the parameters right here. So if I were to publish from this, you know, from this end, then I would, uh, I would, you know, choose the sheets that I want and choose the parameters that I'd like to use. So that's an, another way of publishing this. Now I've already published this one, so I don't need to uh, upload it again. But that would be an option for you if you've got the. Um, it's going to be on Office 2007 Ultimate, Professional Plus, and Enterprise Suites. So if you have those versions, you should be able to do that.